Once you have created an Excel table, you can then begin to use the features of a table. One feature that is very beneficial for organizing your data is to be able to sort that data in ascending or descending order. Based on the data, this could be alphabetically or numerically or by date. For instance, here on the SW Inc. sales worksheet, let's say I wanted to sort my table, and this is a table right here, by sales from ascending to descending order or from smallest to largest. I'll go ahead and choose sort smallest to largest and notice that it automatically sorts my data from smallest amount sold to largest. I can also sort that by date by choosing oldest to newest or newest to oldest as well as I can sort by A to Z or Z to A. Nice feature when working with tables is to be able to use the various features for sorting your information. Now we're going to go ahead and apply this to our sales monthly worksheet. So please open your sales monthly worksheet or if you would like to open a file that reflects the development of the class up to this point, please open up 0903 start file. This will open up our Raspberry Brigade product list and notice that we're on the week one sales and here what we want to do is to sort our information so that we start alphabetically and sort from A to Z. So let's do that by coming over here to column A and to our product heading and click the little drop down arrow next to it and let's choose sort A to Z. This will immediately resort our information and notice that it starts with Appalicious Muffin and extends down alphabetically to Very Blueberry Tart, keeping all of our records intact and keeping the integrity of our data. If you like, take a moment and try sorting by some other values that you have access to through your table headers and then resort this product list alphabetically, save your document, and move on to the next movie.